but I'm an average golfer and I'm on a short hole. Should I be going for it or should I be laying up? I'm gonna hit 10 irons off the tee, 10 drivers off the tee, finish the hole out. And whichever score wins, wins. And so you'll know. Like the 11th hole here at the Heritage, it's a short drivable par four, but there is danger up there which driver brings in. Going for it, if you're not accurate with your drive, can be punishing, but which one is gonna come out on top? And that's the question that I've gotta answer, and I'm gonna answer for you guys. So stick around. We're gonna start irons off tee, 10 shots, one after the other down there, and we'll go play them out, okay? Nice and easy, we, we even took lunch. <laughs> Between the intro and this, we took lunch. Okay. All right, Steven, let's do this. That's the first really bad one. Get out of the bunker. Ah, oh, he nearly got out. Oh, I hooked that one. That was weird. Better. Okay, I think we've got two in bunkers and one on the left side. Let's see what the score is gonna be, okay? Let's see how many we can hit the green with. Okay, we start from here. We've got a camera up at the green, it's hopefully not gonna die this time. <laughs> and I put it straight into the but what the? <sighs> Mr. Green, right. Mr. Green, right. Ball number three, let's get this on the green. Ah, oh. that chicken filler roll did me in. Go on, be good. Okay, that should be tight. Oh, short. Kind of took too much off it. The wind's too heavy to be taking too much off it. Come on, come on. Yeah, there's another one on the green. Go a bit, go a bit, go a bit. Is that going? Yeah, okay. I am replacing all my divots. <laughs> just, just so people know. <laughs> Go, babe, go. Ah! <laughs> what a time to get a message on my phone. <laughs> it worked out though. Okay, so a good few puts for birdie here. I like that. This is the third shot, so. Let's get this one close. Go a bit. No, and then it's gonna spin, okay. Okay. It was actually in the drain here. <laughs> so, no wonder we couldn't see it. Ah, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, that is, that's in trouble. That's in major, major trouble. This one's actually quite close. So we're gonna do the birdie puts first. So we know where we stand. That nearly pitched in the hole, look at that. Okay, we're one under. <laughs> Two under. Okay, it started well this. It'd be nice to go three under, wouldn't it? Give me some leeway. Three under. <laughs> It'd be nice to go four under, wouldn't it? Four under, come on. We're three under, I like that. No, don't think so anyway. Okay. So it's three under so far. I need to get this up and down for a par. Oh, you need to hit it a lot firmer, a lot firmer. No. Okay. We are two under. 
two under after five. So this one here, this needs to get up and down for par. Okay, it'd be lovely to be under par after these 10, but we've got a few dicey shots coming up. All right, I'm gonna hit this one while I'm here. This is, this is for par right here. Better, better. Knowing that we're just about to lose a shot there, so I need this. I need this, I want this. Yeah, it's a good par. Yeah, so after seven, we're one under. I don't know, like, I don't know how I feel about that. Is that good? Is that bad? I suppose it's okay, like, I don't know. So seven, and there's one down there. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get this one up and down. It's pretty good. Ah. All right, we've put for par on both of them. It's this one down here is the problem though. This is the wild one. <sighs> Imagine a par on this. A par on this would be epic. Oh no. <laughs> That's gone a long way. <laughs> Come on, let's see where it ended up. <sighs> it's all right, it's just here. <laughs> oh no. Okay, that was for par. Get in. Oh. Double. Double, that puts us at one over. Okay, one over. Hopefully I box these two. And we remain one over. Ooh. Okay. It's a bogey. It's a bogey. It's two over guys, two over. Two over. Okay. Ten shots off the tee with the iron. If you've even gone down there, three in the bunker, three in hard places. Two over. Not bad. Will the driver give better or worse results? Let's get back to the tee and find out. Some golf stats people say get closer to the green. I'm unsure. I think it's there's a lot more to take in than that. To put it in context, it's 244 yards to the front of the green here. The wind is heavy into though. So it's more playing like 280, I'd say. Two, like 270, 280 around that. It'll be a good hit to get there. It does narrow a lot, but we are here to try. Get in the comments, let me know. What am I gonna shoot with this? Will the layup come out on top and silence the stats people? <laughs> Let me know because this is interesting. I, I'm interested in know the results. <laughs> okay. They're not as neat and tidy. I'm definitely favoring the left side up here. Oh, sugar. I think that's gone. Gone, gone. Come on, wind. No. I can tell you right now, the layup's gonna win. Well, I don't know, let's, let's finish this out. I obviously wanna do well. Potentially two lost balls. Potentially just, my gut is instantly telling me that the layup is better. It's a better strategy. All 10 balls are spread around. Definitely a lot more erratic than, than laying up your irons. Does it put me in a better position? I don't think it does. I'm a bit all over the shop. I'm gonna have to chip two of these. There's two of these here. I'm gonna have to chip two of them out. 
Okay. Ooh, that wasn't good. Go a bit, go a bit. Ah, oh, just. You gotta help me remember <laughs> all these as well, Steve. <laughs> What a spin on that coming back. Okay, so <laughs> this one just hung on by the skin of its teeth. Go, go, go. Do you know what? I, I'm, I'm in too bad, I'm in bad positions, you know that way? At least with the other one, I was in the fairway. Okay, so this one here was in the bunker. So this is my third shot with this one here. Do you remember the rest of them? Oh my goodness. Stop, please stop, please stop. Go, 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 you were meant to run out. Turn in. Okay, that was for par, Steven. It's for par as well. Oh, slow down. Okay, that was for par. This one's for birdie. Go on, turn in. Ah, oh, okay. Put that I have for bogey. <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay. Now, there's one in the bunker there, so that's two over so far. Come on, run out. I tried to chase it down, did all right. Just a bit left. just rolls the rock. He just rolls the rock. I'm telling you, <laughs> if I couldn't put <laughs> ball number this one, five. Don't know where a couple of the balls are, but that's, look, I'm an average golfer. And this is the result you get with average golfers. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm in the next bunker. <laughs> oh. The wind is so strong, isn't it? I thought that's what it was. I wasn't wearing a glove. Now, shocking. Absolutely shocking. <laughs> no, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> like, it's actually abysmal. <laughs> that was for par. <laughs> this is for par. <laughs> I think the answer is clear at this point. Oh, it lips out for par. That would have been a good par. <laughs> Okay, what are we? Four. Oh. Six. Oh. <laughs> Eight over, is it? Wow. <laughs> now we gotta find the other golf balls. There's three golf balls left to find. Okay. This is the eighth ball, is it? Eight, yeah. Uh, it did. It's not, it's not far off the green if it was straight, like. Oh, branch. More than likely bunker, Stephen. <laughs> that was a tough spot. Now we got to try to find the other two. Okay, we found it. We've definitely lost one golf ball. We're one golf ball down. It's in those bushes over there. I want a birdie. Yay. I could birdie that. I'm an average golfer. Most of you watching are probably average golfers. We have those bad shots in us, those wayward shots. And in holes like this, take them out of play. It's more enjoyable making better scores than it is hitting a driver. I find that anyway. If you agree with me, you agree with me, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I just had that idea now. Okay. If you're an average golfer, like me, laying up isn't a weakness. You can shoot better scores, and to me, better scores are more fun. They're more enjoyable. I prefer shooting better scores than hitting one drive on a, a green that I think I can make. I've left myself in better positions with the iron every time. I've had better looks at birdies. I've made more birdies doing it. So are the stats right or wrong? No, they're not anything. They're just a measure of the people that they've measured. They're not you or me or anybody like that. But let's try and get a birdie. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed the video, do subscribe. And as I finish this out with my head hanging very low, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Puddin's on top, like, isn't it? Serious, like.